In this story, church, we notice the power of influence. Can I encourage you tonight? Use that power of influence that you have, use it wisely. In verse number three of our text, have a look at it. Simon Peter saith unto them, I go fishing, and they say unto him, we also go with thee. You know something, church, I've been pastoring Lighthouse for just coming on to six years. I was assistant pastor for a year before that. Something that I learned quick smart when, when, when taking on um, uh, the role of senior pastor is, you know what, that even as a pastor, life isn't about authority, folks. It's all about influence. You see, church, authority is only temporary. Oh, but influence lasts much, much longer in a person's life. I remember going to Bible college. I sat under the authority of many uh, uh, Bible teachers for uh, doing many subjects for a year at a time. But their authority over my life during the, those years, that authority was only temporary. But I still appreciate and I still remember the continuing influence of some of my previous uh, lecturers and, and my previous pastor and, and even mature men of God who, who continued even after I had graduated and finished and did what I had to do to continue to invest into my life. Because they decided that they weren't going to have authority over it, they were going to try and influence a life. Authority is only temporary. Influence has a lasting longer reach into people's lives. You guys that are parents. Parenting is the same thing. Not only is it, is, is it in, is, is, has it got the same effect, it's, it's a lot more crucial. We know, church, that the children are under the authority of, of, of mum and dad for, you know, 18, 20, 25 years maybe. And this is a crucial time, folks, because, because parenting done right will allow you to have influence into your children's lives for, for a very, very long time. See, parents, the authority one day will come to an end. It doesn't mean your influence has to stop. And there are a great many adult Christian children who are still and rightly so under the influence of mum and dad. See folks, when we do relationships God's way, our authority may diminish, but our influence will continue. Now I've seen the other end of that, of that equation as well. Sometimes when we stuff it up and, and we no longer have the authority over them, what we see is we see the influence go out the window too. How many Christian kids have we seen just, 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 just take off? Mum and dad no longer have the authority, and now they no longer have the influence either. And authority in those young years, parents needs to be used as a godly tool to increase godly influence over, over them and over people in our relationships. What's the reality of our text here? You know that, that Peter had no authority over the other apostles? None, none whatsoever. Oh, but folks, he had some influence. He had, he had ministry over these guys. He, and in this occasion, at least, we can see that he used it poorly. Listen, church, you can't afford to make dumb decisions when you have influence over the life of other people. Family or otherwise, amen. <clears throat> You fall in a ditch and those that you influence will fall right in there with you. 